Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up table rate shipping in Magento. To start, simply go to System and then Configuration. Now simply scroll down to the Shipping Methods section. Note that if you haven't filled out your shipping settings, you may want to do that before setting up your shipping methods. Now all we need to do is enable um, table rate shipping. So make sure that table rate shipping is selected and then select yes. As for the title, you can change best way to whatever you'd like it to be. And method name, you can also change this. And now for the condition, you will choose uh, the type of condition that you want to set up the table rate shipping for. For example, you can do weight versus destination, you can do price versus destination, or you can do number of items versus destination. In this case, I will do price. Would you like to include a uh, virtual product in price calculations? In my case, no. Would you like to calculate handling fee by fixed or percent? If you enter a handling fee here, a uh, handling fee will be uh, charged. As for countries, do you want to allow uh, shipping to all countries? Do you want to uh, calculate, uh, use uh, table rates for all countries? or do you want to specify certain countries. In my case I will only choose uh, Canada and the United States. And now uh, would you like to show the shipping method uh, if it's not applicable? In my case no. And the sort order uh, how would you like the table rate shipping to be displayed? For example if you have another shipping method that you're using uh, if you want this uh, shipping method to show up first, you would enter in a lower number than for the other shipping methods. For example, if you enter 0 for table rate shipping and if you enter in uh, 1 for uh, flat rate shipping, uh, flat rate shipping would uh, show up beneath uh, table rate shipping. So now simply click on Save Config. Now once you have uh, saved this configuration, you will go here where it says Current Configuration Scope and you will select Main Website and now what we need to do is export this as CSV so click this button here. So once your uh, file has finished downloading you will need to locate it on your local computer. In my case it's in my Downloads folder and you will need to open it with a uh, spreadsheet program. In this case I'm using Microsoft Excel if you don't have Microsoft Excel, you can always uh, download a free spreadsheet program. I believe that uh, Google actually has a spreadsheet program. Or uh, you can check out the other spreadsheet programs at uh, download.com or any other similar site. And now what you will need is you will need the country code and uh, region or state code, zip code, order subtotal, and shipping price. I'm going to show you how to fill out these uh, values. Um, if you need a country code or a state code, there is a uh, link in the description of this video uh, for my site, which is where you can find the list. I actually put a list together for all of you. Um, I have uh, the three letter country code for uh, every country and uh, I also have uh, state codes uh, for the US. Uh, note that you will need the three letter code and if you need a state code you will need to go here and then you can get the two-letter state code here. This is what you need. So that's at creatingawebstore.com. So in this case, I need the code for Canada. And I also need to enter in uh, the United States code, which is USA. And I simply enter it in here. And since I'm going to uh, set up shipping um, on uh, three uh, different levels, I'm going to enter in USA three times and I'm going to enter in Canada three times as for uh, states if you'd like to uh, specify a certain state uh, what the shipping would be for that state you would enter in the state code here I'm going to show you how to do that in a second but for wildcard uh, you just enter in asterisk like, the, like so and this basically means that um, the shipping uh, will be at this uh, amount uh, for every state. This uh, wild card is for, stands for every state. And same goes for Canada here. 
And for zip code, if you'd like to enter in a zip code, you can. If not, you can do again the asterisk for a wildcard. As for the order uh, subtotal, you start with zero and enter in uh, a price. For example, I will enter in uh, $5 for uh, all uh, items that are, that for order subtotal of uh, zero to let's say uh, $20 will be $5. And then here what I do is I enter in 20 which means that anything at $20 or above will be set at this shipping rate, which is $10. And then here, anything above, say, 100, equal to or above 100, would be $15. As for Canada, I do the same thing and only enter in a, a higher amount for shipping. And now to specify shipping for a particular state, we would enter in uh, USA again for the country and here where it says uh, region or state we would simply enter in the two uh, letter code for the state in this case I'm going to enter in the two letter code for Hawaii so as you can see I entered in uh, a value that is uh, 50 cents higher than for the rest of the US and uh, I'm going to explain how this works. So the asterisk here means that for all states in the US, we are charging $5 for a subtotal of zero to $20, except for Hawaii, because I have Hawaii listed here. For Hawaii, it would be 550. Now, if I also want to add Alaska or anything else, I would just enter in uh, the rest of the state codes here and the country code USA and enter in those uh, prices. So now we are ready to upload the spreadsheet to our uh, admin panel. So go back to your admin panel, go to system, configuration, shipping methods, make sure that table rates is selected and make sure that the current configuration scope is at main website and where it says import simply select your file and upload it by clicking save config so now I'm going to uh, add some items to my cart so that I can test all this out and I will demonstrate how it works. Keep in mind that if you want to use a different uh, condition, for example, you just go back to default config. And if you choose weight versus destination, you basically just enter in a weight instead of a price. As for number of items, again, you enter in the number of items instead of price. Uh, it's almost the same concept uh, just a different way of looking at the values uh, if you need more information I actually have uh, some examples for weight versus destination and for number of items versus destination on my site and again the link is in the description of this video but now let's test all this out and see how it works okay so here I have a shopping cart total of $321.99 I'm going to choose uh, the United States first and I will go with Florida and as you can see my table rate uh, cost would be fifteen dollars and we simply check to make sure and yes this is correct now let's try Hawaii and the table rate cost for Hawaii is 1550 is this correct yes it is as for Canada, the cost is $20. And that is correct as well. And now if we were to remove this item, we would be up at $22. And I'll spare you uh, testing all of the different combinations. But let's just try uh, one combination and see what happens. and fifteen dollars this would be at twenty dollars and above and that is correct and now let's uh, put this item in our cart and try below twenty dollars and that is correct as well because we're right here 
zero to twenty dollars the shipping cost is ten dollars so that's that thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com